everybody. Welcome back to the Fabric Boutique. We are going over week one. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate it. Consider subscribing, but also consider joining us. We are going over, and I'll pop it up on the screen, Esther, It's Tough Being a Woman by Beth Moore. And so if you want to get a little bit more of kind of how this will go and, you know, going forward over the next several weeks, check out the previous video, but we are going to dive right on in. This was good. Now, I remember as I was reading through it again, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> and I have some notes that I definitely want to go over. So I encourage you, if you are going through this uh, study with me, um, definitely go ahead and um, leave your comments, your thoughts down below. One thing I did forget to mention in the previous video is that you can get the um, there's an answer page sheet that you can get from um, Lifeway, Beth Moore. I'll leave the link down in the description box for um, for some of this. So I forgot to mention that, uh, that you can uh, download that. I believe it's still available. I'll have to check. And we'll put that in the description box. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this, what I like the way uh, Beth Moore sets up her study is that is really, it's like a story. Um, and it makes it more for those who feel that, you know, reading the Bible is a, a struggle for them from one way or another, or you, you, you overthink what it is that you're reading, or if you don't understand, that's why I recommended those resources last week. Go check out that video. So you can do deeper dive in certain things, words that you come across that you don't understand, that you have your Bible dictionary, your commentary and things of that nature. So you can do a deeper dive on your own. I highly encourage you to definitely always take the time to do a deeper dive and understanding on your own in addition to whatever Bible study or um, that you're participating in, right? Um, but what I absolutely love about this is that we get a, this first week is all, we're not even talking about Esther yet. This is all about what was going on before Esther. If you saw this, uh, you know, it was talking about being in the shadow of somebody, of a woman in particular, um, before you, and, and this could be in the, application to anything. You are the new um, instructor, say for a workout class, and maybe this other instructor, this woman taught a certain way, her class was always full, but now that she can't, I'm just using this as, as an example. Now she can't teach, and now they brought you on to do the class, and now you're like, ooh, she was so good, I took her class, everybody loved her, now it's me stepping in. And, and so you, you can apply this to in the area of your life, right? So I like that we get a little historical knowledge about, and forgive me if I say his name wrong, we, I'm just gonna call him Xer, Xerxes. I believe it's pronounced Eshuerus, but I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. And so um, he's the king of Persia <laughs> at this time. Um, and so we it opens with, she gives the history knowledge of because he wanted to overtake um, Athens specifically in Greece, he wanted to show off his wealth, show off his riches, show that, okay, you helped me in this battle. Trust me, I got you. I can cover expenses. I can pay back, do whatever. So he went 180 days throwing a party. Now 180 days doing all this lavish spending and all of this, that's a lot. You got some money if you can go 100 day, 100 straight, 180 days doing this type of celebrating. Then after we kind of got through that part about his celebration and the kind of his history behind why he was even doing all of this. So it was so he, you know, he had the big head like, look, I got, I got what I need. Look, let me show you what I got. I'm going to throw this, this shindig for 180 days. And then after that, and that's, that was just for like the inners, you know, the nobles and all that. Then after that, he turned around, did a seven day feast, which was flowing with the alcohol. And you know, if you read Beth Moore, you know, she was real funny on some of those parts about the alcohol. And um, you all know sometimes, and I know if you've heard colloquially um, about a drunk speaker, sober mind, you know, all this other different stuff. And so she kind of, she makes it more personable and kind of more relatable as she's talking about kind of the historical nature of what was going on at this time and why 
how the celebrations were going on. She even gave the hi historical knowledge about, I believe it was Her Herotis, Herotis, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well. Um, but um, from history, Persian kings and different things at this time, um, they would make major decisions after they've been drinking. And so, which obviously, you know, making big decisions, making big moves, you don't do that under the influence and they shouldn't have been. And so, um, again, she's sharing all this historical knowledge. And so after they become sober, then is reiterated to them what they agreed to something that they said that they would do after, you know, the alcohol and we're off. Here's what we said we were going to do. Either it got scrapped or they continue on with, yeah, let's go ahead and do that thing. And so, um, so that was quite interesting. I thought all of that historical knowledge was really, really good. And so there were a few, so this first week was all about setting the stage, why things happen, set up the way they did that even will introduce Esther to begin with. And so as we know, during the celebration, we had the six month celebration. Then there was the seven day celebration, which included everybody. And so you know, all common people and everything. But Vashti, she had her own party going for seven days. And so um, reminding, you know how you forget certain things? She was the granddaughter of Nebuchadnezzar, as Beth Moore said. And so, um, so that was key because it may have influenced why she did not go to the part. May, one of the many reasons. There was a page in the book that had maybe several possible reasons why she declined going to the uh, party to be, you know, pranced around um, in front of all these men and everything like that. She was a one. I had wrote down that you have to let me know what you thought and what leave that in the comments. I said she did, she was holding her own party. She didn't feel like leaving her own party to go entertain him and he drunk in front of all these drunk men. She had her own party with her girls. They was doing her thing. She was like, no. I'm not coming. And so because one of the men were like, okay, you see, she didn't turn you down. Now all the other women out here going to think that she can, they can act like her. And so him, they all drunk. Remember all the men, they drunk. And so during that time, the decision was made while they was drunk. You know what? Show her. She should never become Never will she come before the king again. And on top of that, you getting ready to replace her. And I need you to put out a decree that, you know, men, you, you know, y'all run wives. Y'all need to uh, listen to your husband. He running things and all this other different stuff, which was like, okay, you went all the way, right? Because you got embarrassed. All this shindig and show stopping you was doing. And the one thing that you extra thing that you wanted you could not get because Vashti wasn't giving it to you so I thought that whole historical background was like really good and if you just kind of sit back and just think through obviously there's a lot of layers in here remember each week is broken up by days and so week one had five days week two has five days so you can determine what day you know how uh, many days you want to spend maybe you read two in one day three in one day maybe you read all five in one day it's, it's up to you but it's broken down in a way where you can kind of take chunks at a time and she revisits through the scripture because the first week is chapter one and so that's how it's broken up for the study and I thought it was really good but there was a couple things that um there was one thing in particular <clears throat> that I you know a couple things I should say the um i like how she pointed out that um the book of esther is not meant to be discussed as this gender battle this battle between man and woman and so i thought this that was a really good point to make she said if you read esther and just think of it oh this is man against woman type thing you like missing the whole point of what the scripture is about and we already know for those who have read esther on many occasions as i always say you can read something like a million times and then that million one time it's like oh I totally missed that before and some of that is based on the personal seasons that you are in in your own life right and so that you might pick up on certain things differently um, at that time or notice different things at a different time 
Um, but uh, yeah, she really goes through uh, this study and, and what I liked it. The other thing I wanted to point out, while it's just the introduction, we get we start getting into the meat and potatoes um, week two, so stay tuned. Um, but the last thing I want to um, lift up that she mentioned is that um, this whole study is allowing us to heal those insecurities that's within us. Um, because again, she talks about it's tough being a woman and being in another woman's shadow or being in somebody else's shadow. Some of that um, obviously is some insecurities or some healing that needs to happen within us. And we have to take ownership of it. And one of the things I suggest as you are going through the study, and it's going to get deeper as you go. But as you go through the study, there's different questions in the margins where she asks you to reflect on your own personal life situations. And I've done that myself. <clears throat> That's not anything I'm going to share here. Um, but do that inventory for yourself. Take inventory. Answer those questions. It's just you and God. And allow God to begin to strip away those different um barriers maybe that you put up around yourself because of previous hurt previous pain maybe on the job you didn't get that promotion because a friend that you thought was a mentor ended up you know you feel stabbed you in the back so now you have trust issues with other co-workers and other people who would like to mentor you or you know it could be anything um any situation in life think about any situation in life maybe it happened in school maybe it happened in your family maybe it happened with some friends something like that but allow this study to begin to heal those broken places those holes that you allow to continue to grow because you have not one acknowledged them you keep suppressing it oh i don't have to deal with that oh i'm over that over this no allow god to heal that close and not just you know brush over it as if it wasn't nothing you need to get over it and all. no allow god to do completely strip you down and begin to heal those insecurities, those broken places in your own life um, and uh, maybe different struggles or different things, areas of trust that you might have with your own, uh, whatever that situation may be in your life. So yeah, I, hey, chapter one, it, chapter one is all about, here's the backdrop. Why are we here? What's going on in this time? This is how they operate in the Persian Empire and their thought process, why they drank, why it was always lavish party. So we got that knowledge. Um, but that was it for Vashti. We ain't hear nothing else about her. So, I mean, that was it. The page was turned. The, the stage was set. Um, and so he allowed, you know, he allowed his boy to tell him this is what you need to do. So make sure these other women don't sit up and try to do what she did. Um, cause that's not going to work. And so he just went along with the get along. And, uh, now here we are, we get ready to dive into it. So week two, y'all go ahead and catch up. The pages aren't long. Each week is, is not long. Um, a few pages for each week broken up by day. Go ahead, if you have not caught up, go ahead and catch up. Let's continue to go through this story. And um, there weren't any particular questions from this particular week that I wanted to dive in deeper and get your thoughts on. But if you have something that you thought that you picked up that you thought about put it in the comment section below i'll be reading comments and if it's something that needs to be brought up in the next week i will most certainly do that but yeah i'm excited for us to be diving in you guys this is so good i love that uh the way um this bible study is set up and i'm excited to continue to go from week to week so if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe. I will leave a link again to everything in the description box to the, um, the studies and the, um, the book and everything down in the description box. You can go ahead and pick it up and, and catch up. It's not a lot to catch up on. So, all right, everybody, thank you so much. And let me know, what do you think? What do you think? If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you're looking for a prayer journal, remember I do have some prayer journals that have been discontinued that are marked down to $12.99. I have a few of those available. You do have free shipping if you decide to spend $50 or more. I have the prayer and devotional pillows on there, a couple prayer scarves on there. 
which are accessories um that's what the prayer scarves are i need to make sure we clear um that it's just an accessory <laughs> so but anyway go ahead and check that out on the website the link to that will be down below we do offer afterpay if you so choose to check out with afterpay as well but yeah everything will be linked down in the description box i hope you are enjoying it so far Week one was just all, let's get a little background before we dive on in. So we're going to start diving on in next week. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. You all have a blessed rest of your week and we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.